strength of a woman welcome back to why in the morning as i just said in this particular segment we look at strength of a woman my name is michelle ashira and in this particular session we de uh, definitely celebrate women who are doing impactful things in the society so women have played important roles and community building since the dawn of time. We are known as naturals. And uh, when it comes to people who are outspoken leaders, such as a uh, member of National Assembly, yeah? uh, Suba North MP Mili Atiambo, we have Naisula Lesuda, and then we have the president of Tanzania, Samia Sulu Hassan, and so many more. So we ask uh, on ways to strike that balance, right? The almighty work-life balance. I'm joined by, listen to this, Pastor Helen Angiro. She is a business lady. She is a mother. She is a, a, a wife. Yes, so the list goes on and on. Have I missed out on anything? <laughs> All right. I feel those are different roles that you're playing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. Have I, missed on, have I missed on anything? Yeah, um, pastoring a, a new church. Okay. Yeah, a young church that is coming up well, mm -hmm. and we thank God for everything. Amazing. Yeah. You look fabulous. Wow, we thank <laughs> God. It's by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what came first for you? Was it ministry or the business aspect of it? Or oh. family? <laughs> family came first, uh -huh. and uh, it is the will of God for the family to come first. In as much as you would want to venture in other areas in life, your family comes first. Mm -hmm. So my family came first, and um, after that I got into business, mm -hmm. and now the ministry came in. Mm -hmm. But currently I take my family as the first priority, then ministry, okay. yeah, right. then business. All right. When you speak about business, what sort of business are you into? Yeah. Uh, when you speak about business, uh, what sort of business are you into? Oh, wow. You didn't get that. I mean, <laughs> yes. sorry, I mean, in okay. lending industry. All right. And uh, we deal with financing. All right. Maybe if someone can be having maybe an emergency, mm -hmm. we always sort it out. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So even after this, we're going to talk about business. You have to come here on <laughs> Tuesday. Oh, on yes. Tuesday is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Uh -huh. We celebrate uh, startups as well. Wow. Businesses that have been there for a long period of time. Uh -huh. So we, you have to come on Tuesday I as well. To come back. Thank <laughs> so you so much. So that we can look into uh, what you, you actually do in business in yeah. details. Mm -hmm. All right. So for how long have you been in operation? I've been in this business for six years now. Okay. But uh, as an employee, mm -hmm. trusting God for uh, for my own company. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That's right. what I'm believing so what does, for. So uh, what does work-life uh, balance uh, mean to you? All right. Uh, as a pastor, as a mother, as a wife, as a pastor to someone, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it can be overwhelming. But the grace of God keeps us moving on how to balance the numerous activities. Mm -hmm. and go. Mm -hmm. it, it takes a courage of a woman. It, it needs strength of a woman. A woman who understands her, her tomorrow. Someone who knows at the end of the day, where do I want to be? Otherwise, it, it doesn't just happen. It needs someone to take responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And right now, this morning, I'm talking to a woman. Who, who is just overwhelmed, who is feeling that, oh, this is too much. Can't, can you stop complaining? Just take responsibility. It is doable. I've done it, and I'm still in it. Hey. Yeah. Ah, we have already started <laughs> on a very high note. <laughs> we thank God. Okay, you have said something that is quite uh, interesting. You said it's possible. Mm, it but someone who is watching this, they wonder, how, how do we do it? Right? How mm -hmm. do we do it? How do we strike that balance? You, you just need to do something we call prioritizing. Mm -hmm. You know what, what you need. At the end of the day, your goal will, rem uh, will make you remain focused. Mm -hmm. um, of course, uh, some things will be happening along the way. Distractors will be there. But your goal should keep you focused. And that tells you how to, to maneuver through the things, how to do things, how to handle every, everything in your life. Because your family needs you, uh, 
uh, believers needs you. They will call you, Pastor, I'm going through this. Pastor, come for the fellowship. Pastor, help me. You need to make them feel that they have a pastor. Your kids need to feel that they have a mother. Your husband needs to feel I have a wife. At the same time, your boss needs you. He needs to feel that, he or she needs to feel that I have uh, a responsible employee. Yeah. All right. And, um, okay. I get what you're saying. But let me tell you something. I have a friend. Yeah? Uh -huh. She's a workaholic. Uh -huh. Call her Monday to Friday. It's the weekend. She's still trying to just, uh, um, you know, seal a deal here and there, mm -hmm. meeting with a client. So there's a lot that goes on. We have to even actually even try to drag her out of the office. Mm -hmm. So for someone who's watching this and they're wondering, but my life is okay. You know, alcoholic don't even see there's, a, yeah, <laughs> there's yeah. an issue going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how important is it to strike that balance? Yeah, how important is it? It is very important because you also need to be mentally okay. Because when you don't, when, uh, when one balance weighs you down, actually you cannot perform to the maximum. Therefore, there is that need to work out your balance right. So that you know uh, when to work. Mm -hmm. You can be at work maybe the whole day, maybe the whole week. But at some point, maybe after two or three months, uh, mm -hmm one or two months actually maximum two months mm -hmm. take a vacation mm -hmm. spend with your family so that they may feel that they you are who you are you are who they want you to be yeah all right it's very important okay so uh last um it's last year when covid 19 uh global pandemic actually hit and Mm -hmm. We went on a recession, and uh, most people were laid off. People are right now are really trying to work hard. Probably you are working hard for your duties are for like two people, mm -hmm. because you're trying to secure this job. Mm -hmm. So let's look at uh, key key and like uh, detailed steps to take. We mm -hmm. have looked at uh, the aspect of creating time for leisure. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at other steps that we can make, even in the space of chaos trying to make ends meet you know <laughs> workaholics out there so let's look at other steps apart from leisure that we can we can take uh, just to make sure that we, we stay sane mm -hmm. oh uh some of the steps that we can make is uh, is by uh, creating sacrificial time that is if you are to report to work at eight just create some more time. Be there maybe at 7, by 7 or even 6.30. Uh, that way, mm -hmm. you have a room to do something extra. Because uh, sure, life is not that easy. And it was not easy. And it is not be becoming easy anytime soon. Any woman must get stronger. You got to be stronger than yesterday. That's all what I can tell them. Because... Uh, sacrificing means that umenjini makitu. Mm -hmm. Umenjini makitu ndiyo upate. Mm -hmm. And this is what is uh, is all about. And I feel like that's even how you value more of what you get you get mm -hmm. because you you know you're putting the work you've sacrificed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those things must be put into place. But you can't just get uh, extraordinary results by doing extra things. Mm -hmm. Extraordinary things. No, you need to be to surpass the expectation for you to get supernatural results. Aye, Pasi. Yeah. Yes. Like Pasi kuna situation ingine. Gani yomo dia. Kuna boundaries, eh? Kuna time umbayo. You know, there's there's work and then there's your personal life. Uh -huh. So how do you even communicate boundaries mm -hmm. to probably your supervisor or your coworker? Because there are times they can even send emails at wee hours and tell you reply uh -huh. or they can start you know sending you to impromptu uh -huh. business travels uh -huh. and you have your own life so how do you communicate those boundaries so you you just need to uh, i believe the backbone of every successful life is communication communication is the backbone and now what happens even my boss knows that i'm here in fact i've told them i'm here mm -hmm. and the, there was a scheduled meeting by eight but I had to abscond with a reason I communicated. So communication is very important. Uh, our bosses, I think they are family people. They know when you go to interview, they, will, they will ask you, or even you, you have that bio that tells us who you are. 
it talks more about you. So we know that you married, you do this and that. And therefore they, they have to take care of that. Or even if they go to Wakisahau na Wakumbusha, just mm. communicate. Mm, okay. Yeah, okay. you communicate. Okay. So, so the <laughs> I may be single out here and they know it. So if you have the obligations and duties, mm -hmm. they, they, they'll be looking out for, you know, like if it's Michelle, they'll mm -hmm. be looking out for Michelle. Michelle can do this because, you know, she has no responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So you communicate regardless. You communicate in, a, in advance. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there has been a phrase that has been thrown out there from decades to decades, mm -hmm. which is work smarter, not harder. Mm -hmm. Work smart, not hard. Mm -hmm. What does that entail for you? Oh, to me, working smarter... And not under means that uh, I mungu to me. Mm -hmm. I only need to do my simple part. That mm -hmm. is to be there mm -hmm. doing the right thing, because uh, I believe uh, what God told Jeremiah, Jeremiah one verse five, that He knew him before he was formed in his mother's womb. He had appointed him to be a prophet to the nations, and therefore everything that we do, my dear. It is directly wired to our destiny. Okay. So anytime I wake up in the morning, God knows who is mine. Mm -hmm. So I only need to position myself right to receive it. You don't need to work harder. You only need to be where God wants you to be. Come and be there. The Lord is going to take care of the rest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have understood you. Yeah. But how do you position yourself? Positioning yourself is being at the right time, at the, uh, being at the right place at the right time. How do you know it is the right time and it's the right place? <laughs> you know, I be watching this. <laughs> and then they'll be like, how do I know that <laughs> I am supposed to be at a particular point A, B, C, and D so that my like, a success can happen, so that I can get that job, mm -hmm. or even I can get that promotion? To me, I think it works differently. Mm -hmm. Uh, any time that I feel, any time that I that anything is about to happen to my life, it doesn't catch me off. Okay. I always have have that feeling. Kuna kitu oh, the intuition. Yeah. So the Holy Spirit of God helps us to do this. The listening spirit. The Lord should direct you to where a viable client is, mm -hmm. not just throwing the fists all over the air. Okay. No, okay. because you can be all over but not to be anywhere at the end of the day. Ah, uh -huh. it's more of, more of quality than uh, quantity or being more productive. Yeah. Than just making, about ensuring that things are yes, getting yes. done. So apart from just the, you know, there's the supernatural aspect of it, mm. whereby God is very much involved. Mm. I believe he's always involved. Mm. About how, what kind of measures can people take when it comes to probably if you're looking forward to get a promotion at workplace, or if you're looking forward to, you know, seeking out for a job or starting your own business. Mm -hmm. What are those, those the, gen the generic things that they can do? and steps they can make? Uh, in my life, I've learned something mm -hmm. which is currently helping me. In every field of my life, I'm looking uh, to a certain person or certain people who have made it ahead of me. Mm -hmm. So I don't just go and begin anything. I don't just go and seek for a vacant or even begin a business without enough information mm -hmm. so the best thing one can do is seeking information mm -hmm. from the people who are ahead of of you in that area mm -hmm. that one will help a lot mm -hmm. yeah but as that has in your life yeah uh, has there been a, a time where you felt, I can't do this anymore, uh, it's too much, there's ministry, there's family, there is the, the, the aspect of you running a business. So have you ever felt like, uh, I, can, I, I, I can't do it? And yeah. wh what happened? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, severally, you just find yourself in those situations. Mm -hmm. Unajipata, this one is too much, you can't handle it anymore, mm -hmm. you can't even move an inch. They happens, mm -hmm. but uh, the best thing about it is that uh, you got faith in God. Mm -hmm. You only need to tell God, strengthen me once again. Mm -hmm. Yes, renew my strength. Because at times, uh, you don't need to, to do much for your strength to fail. Mm -hmm. You only need to do what mm -hmm. you are supposed to do mm -hmm. for you to get tired mm -hmm. and therefore when you do what you're supposed to do you feel that your strength is failing you at that moment and that juncture tell the Lord renew my strength to keep on moving mm -hmm. because at the end of the day 
through what you do, you mentor somebody. Through what you do, your children are learning. So you got keep moving. You must keep moving. Yeah. You have to keep moving. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let's look at um, chronic stress and the superwoman syndrome. <laughs> I'm telling you out here. I, I, I'll still refer to my friend. <laughs> I hope we'll still be friends after this. Um, there's the superwoman syndrome mm -hmm. whereby you want to take over everything, right? You're overworking yourself. You over <laughs> when I say my, you are, you're, do, you're doing over oh and my. above, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because probably you love your job and that is a good thing. Mm -hmm. But it gets to a point whereby you will be exhausted, mm -hmm. right? There's mm -hmm. the issue of stress. Now you bring stress from work to back to home and then there's uh, trouble in paradise when relationship is involved mm. at what particular time do you ask for help oh my uh, many other times you need to seek for help and I began by saying mm -hmm. you need to have people who have gone ahead of you around your life if because the people who have gone uh, ahead of you have been at some point where you are but you've never gone there, mm -hmm. sure? Mm -hmm. So even in relationships, mm -hmm. even in that business, even in that ministry, mm -hmm. you need somebody. Ambaya ametangulia. Ananjua. Kile utapatana nacho. He or she can help. Mm -hmm. And therefore these people, mm -hmm. directory all in directory, mm -hmm. wana to sana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they mm -hmm. do help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And mm -hmm. therefore, uh, doing a lot doesn't necessarily mean success mm. you you should have a limit mm -hmm. you can't be everywhere every time and expect to have something I see, but, see, I a super woman. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to be a superwoman mm -hmm. in your line of calling mm -hmm. you know there is that something one thing mm -hmm. that the lord has ordained for mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. in fact uh, god has not called you to be everywhere he has called you to be somewhere Mm. And you can only progress in that field, mm -hmm. not in every field. Mm -hmm. Leave the, uh, the rest to the others, mm -hmm. but be in that line. Mm -hmm. Run your own race, and the Lord is going to promote you in that line. Not every line. You mm -hmm. cannot be everywhere. You'll mm -hmm. get exhausted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll get exhausted, and, uh, and everything will go away. Why? <laughs> then, are we, we, then we take you down. Six six feet down. And we be Sadly, kina yeah. Tatuacha tu wale watu liko na jaribu kufurahisha ukifanya everything. Mm. Tutabaki tu tukisema muone. Mm. You see, people will still talk. Mm -hmm. Our life will continue. So be somebody, not everybody. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like that. What are, what are the other ways that uh, guys can manage stress? Stress management. Communication. Mm -hmm. Communication is very important. And mm -hmm. learning to have rest. In fact, instead of quitting, even in that marriage, instead of quitting, take a break. Mm -hmm. I, am I communicating? Take a break. Mm -hmm. In that business, instead of quitting mm -hmm. and causing mayhem here and there, just run to take rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rest is very important. Mm -hmm. Communication is very important. Mm -hmm. In that, in that relationship, maybe you're feeling that, oh my, uh, maybe I can only kill somebody. Mm. No, just take rest. Mm. Yeah, just, just take a break. No, like Out that. of that house, go. Mm. Out of this country, just fly. Mm. You know, mm. and then you will come back. Mm. Yeah. I like what you said, which is take a break. Because mm. when you listen to these stories from prison of women who, or men who did something out of anger, that yeah. just anger, it was that just happened. So it's not, it's not you, worth it. Oh, yes. Mm. And if you listen to them give the story, they're saying that it, they just don't know how it happened. They don't. They because they explain. reacted on an emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they didn't like lay, take a laid back seat and just think, mm -hmm. just think th things through. Be logic. Yeah. Is it worth it? I like what you said. I, mm -hmm. I really do like that. Yeah. So in your case, Pastor Helen, how do you manage being a minister, <laughs> uh, <laughs> be at the forefront, yeah. uh, being a business lady? Is your partner supportive in all this? Because I feel like at the end of the day, if there's, you cannot do this on your own. Very true. So is your partner uh, supportive? And what other ways are you doing just to stay afloat? Mm -hmm. and balanced all right uh, uh, to begin with I have a very supportive partner and I thank God for him he's watching Anthony Motahi 
May the Lord bless you so much. You've been very supportive to my life. Uh, Ata kama ni behind the curtain, you've been doing it perfectly, mm-hmm. and I thank God for you. Now, uh, for you to maybe mm-hmm, to achieve to your maximum in any field, you need support in all those fields. Right now, any time na toka job ni mechelewa ni mechoka, my children cannot go to sleep until mommy comes. Hata wakati niko na mkutano town because Mondays, Wednesdays niko church. Mm-hmm. Na huwa natoka mostly 7:30. So getting at home is past 9. But they are there. Nikifika tu kwa nyumba they hug me mom welcome. You know I feel the weight is dao inakuwa tu ime it has been lifted off my shoulders. So you need those supportive elements in all the fields. Mm-hmm. When it comes to work uh my bosses have uh, I've just emplaced who I am the I have a service for, for the staff every Friday and they appreciate who you are it changes you to product uh, to produce more to become better in your field so those things are better in my people who are watching Jesus Victory Center Kawangware you are just amazing I appreciate who you are your pastor just need to say what can we do and you do it perfectly without questions may the lord bless you una ka pa si ule ule mu easy they are so nice i only need to say hii kitu tunafaa kufanya mm-hmm. how you do it i can't explain mm-hmm. the way you do it how where you get money only god knows may the lord bless you oh, why yeah. so for the people who are married for the people who are married to their work mm-hmm. okay and yet they have a family um uh, I, i'm not sure if this happened to you did you did you always have this balance when starting off you'll tell us that but for the people who are married to their work and yet they have a family what sort of challenges do they encounter yeah, if you don't balance your work in the family well of course you will lose your family kidogo mm-hmm. kidogo to pole pole you just create that distance mm-hmm. your distance in akuwa enlarged enlarged mwisho mwisho unajipata uko peke yako uko kazi tu mm-hmm. but remember after work mm-hmm. there is the family mm-hmm. and the family is the backbone of life mm-hmm. so you can't drive in business you can't drive in ministry without a family mm-hmm. so to them that are just to them that are just married to their work please is the high time you balance the two mm-hmm. your family needs you you are kids your wife your mother you everyone needs you know how to balance all right yeah. speaking about how to balance yeah. let's look at a couple of uh, myths mm-hmm. about work life balance and what we should do instead so this is the time we are looking at the myths eh? so i will we will go uh, i will go through some of them mm-hmm. and then you will explain further mm-hmm. uh, and you tell us why it is a myth <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh-huh. So let's start off with what we have been mentioning from uh, uh, the time we started this conversation which is the work uh, life balance. So here's the the first myth apparently that it's actually about uh, achieving balance when it comes to work. Mm-hmm. And uh, earlier on before we started this conversation I had mentioned that uh, I feel like uh, especially because I've interacted with most of entrepreneurs young in uh, in that matter and they always uh, not being able to just balance the aspect of work and life. They're always working on the go even if they go home because now technology you can you can reply to an email through your phone. So is it possible to achieve that balance? It's very possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you realize okay, when you realize what what is needed of you, it is very possible. Yeah. That's Passing what I your part, yeah, the fact that uh, your work uh-huh. can bleed into your life. <laughs> uh, you can be at home but you know like uh, you have to you have a client to meet uh-huh. um that you have to you have to actually even meet this client so mm-hmm. that a deal can go through um and, uh, i'm back at home so mm-hmm. and there is of technology so is are we is it's possible eh? it is very possible okay. <laughs> very possible in fact as sometimes naji patanga kwa hiyo situation mm-hmm. but uh, you only need to make your customer know the truth 
and understand. Let mm -hmm. him or her understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, you don't have. We don't have to meet physically. Mm -hmm. If it is all about the documents, I will scan for you. Mm -hmm. Sign, then scan back Zoom to meeting. me. You know, Zoom meetings. Everything is easy. Okay. The technology has made made it easy for us. Uh, no physical meetings. Okay. Not necessarily. Okay. Here it is, myth number two, mm -hmm. that life needs to be compartmentalized, which says, mm -hmm. another myth is that we need to comp uh, com compartmentalize life. Uh, for some of us, that means uh, an even 50-50 split, where we spend half of our time at work and the other at home. So for, for others, it's dividing our days into eight, eight, eight hour blocks. Again, <laughs> wow. that's it. Where's the you sleep, mm -hmm. sleep eight hours, sleep eight hours, and then eight hours work, okay? Mm -hmm. That is your work. And then mm -hmm. the other eight hours, leisure time. Friends, mm -hmm. family, let's go for vacation. Pasi mm -hmm. time, ten or two, yeah? You have, <laughs> you're chasing the bug. <laughs> Uh -huh. You're looking for the money. Uh -huh. You you have to cut down on your um, on your time frame of uh, eight hours where yeah. you're probably sleeping. Mm -hmm. Even the eight hours that you're supposed to spend with family and friends. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, mm, by the way, if I, if this deal works, eh, mm. things are going to go well. I'm going to take a vacation and we're going to spend quality time with my family and mm -hmm. friends. Up and compensate. Mm -hmm. So is it that we work with this? Um, uh, uh, analogy that is just 50 50 or do we work with what works best for us mm. and also priorities no i think uh the analogy might be maybe right to some people but i prefer that we work with what works best for you mm -hmm. not for me but for you mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. are you achieve the maximum results mm -hmm. yes do you believe like we can have it all ah uh, it depends on <laughs> not really mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, the contentment is the key mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. you can't have it all all right yeah another myth is here uh they say time management is the answer so here it is i'm all for the time management okay so at the same time it's an outdated concept most of the time management techniques we put on at a pedestal were created before we were connected to 24 7. so i wish i could completely unplug to free me of distraction or or unwind so the reality is that as a business owner i <laughs> The same thing I was talking about. I can't go completely off the grind. To counter this, you have to be selective with how you spend your time. That means spending your energy on the right actions at the right time. Very true. Mm -hmm. Spending your energy on the right uh, uh, on the right actions at the right time. That's the key. Mm -hmm. You need to you need to choose that. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is not about. Uh, it, uh, it's uh, it's more of time management than maybe spending your time well mm -hmm. because uh, when you manage your time and you know at this time I need to do this as I began by saying you need to position yourself right in any field if maximum results won't be won't be won't be available therefore what I mean is that uh, uh, spending your time well and maybe priorities will help you to achieve mm. in life yeah okay so you fall priorities back. you fall back to priorities yeah. what matters to you yeah okay so what that matters to you because what matters to you mm -hmm. is not what matters to me very true yeah mm. we have to prioritize things okay yeah all right let's go to the other myth they say the uh the other myth is about work-life balance is that the early bird catches the wall okay so here's the we've all had this I wake up at 5.15 a.m. So a lot of successful people do. The idea is that if you're up, uh, up early, you have more time to get things done. As a result, you'll have more time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. But that doesn't work for everyone. Some people are more productive at night. Also, whether you, re you realize it or not, you're adding more work hours to your day. Yeah. Uh, I'm to that, mm -hmm. 100%. Mm -hmm. Because uh, most of you are in the office 6. 
Mm. Yeah, six ni kwa kwa ofisi and I resigned at Kikuyu. So, mi utoka kwa nyumba five. Every day, every other day. The, and, and then there's also aspect here, uh, also realizing what works for you again. Yeah. Because there are people who, um, uh, waking up early is not, they're not morning pe morning persons, morning people. Mm -hmm. and they, they prefer working it. at late late uh -huh. hours. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, I feel like it's understanding where you, where you, like belong because you can wake up at the m in the morning very early in the morning and to still do nothing very true yeah so it's just realizing mm -hmm. that's the thing okay again because uh being lazy nothing can come along your way mm -hmm. when you become lazy mm -hmm. and even the bible says if you don't work don't eat mm. so wake you cannot just sleep and expect work to be done mm -hmm. you got to wake up early mm -hmm. and do something for yourself okay yeah all right, let's look to uh, look into another myth when it comes to work life balance. So we have you never have to work <laughs> during off hours. So perhaps the leading argument for work life balance is that you never have to work during off hours. Okay, so entrepreneurs don't always have that luxury. Pasi. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, those people got uh most of them got vacations eh? mm -hmm. they don't just have leisure time mm -hmm. because even meeting them you know yeah. i have several of them mm -hmm. like uh, as business partners you don't just find them they are just rare materials to find mm -hmm. because their schedules are always fixed mm -hmm. very busy mm -hmm. and therefore it really depends mm -hmm. it really depends with your priorities also all right. Mm. So we have people who always want to schedule everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's another myth when it comes to work-life balance. They say that everything has to be scheduled. So essential tasks and appointment always go into my calendar. Mm. But that doesn't mean you have to schedule your entire life literally. It's unrealistic and adds more stress to your already hectic life. And here's what they say that. So when you're sh uh, so uh, when you're trying to organize yourself, putting everything on the calendar, don't overdo it. Uh, leave blank space so that you can grab coffee with family and friends. Pasi. Mm -hmm. But then another this uh, uh, article of research when it comes to work-life balance. But I, yeah, at some point, mm -hmm. um, I'm just uh, I'm just happy the way you've uh, you've put it mm -hmm. because. Uh, you need to plan your tomorrow before before you before it begins. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing today, I just I didn't wake up and uh, and just find myself here. Mm -hmm. It was a schedule, and after this, I know where I, where I'm going, what I need to do, mm -hmm. and therefore, uh, scheduling events in life is very important. Know what you want to do, mm -hmm. just have that program. Tomorrow I need to wake up at this time, mm -hmm. pray in the word of God, do this and that and that. And make sure you achieve. Don't just sh schedule. Just achieve. Make sure you do one thing at a time. If you have a kind of tick, when you do that tick, mm -hmm. so that you know what you haven't achieved for the day. Mm -hmm. That one will bring fantastic results. Oh, yeah. Great. So this is schedule kila kitu. Siki la kitu. The important things. Okay. The things that matters to you for that day. Okay. Yeah. Great. So those are the myths. You can actually find them uh, on our research. Uh, the research was from um, an article from uh, from entrepreneurs.com when it comes to work-life balance. And is it possible or is it you have to just integrate your personal life and reach your work? And we appreciate that a lot. So uh, let's move on to another space as we wind up. Um, I'd like to find out what keeps you sane and grounded. Yes. What keeps you sane and grounded in the mm. midst of everything that you do? Oh, that is uh, my calling. That is myself, who I am in the Lord, mm -hmm. my life purpose. Uh, it keeps me on the ground. And uh, uh, the story of the two women in the Bible mm -hmm. also keeps me changed uh, every day. Mm -hmm. This is Deborah and Jael. In the book of Judges, Judges chapter number four and first, uh, and chapter five, chapter four and five, we'll meet these two ladies who are very strong during during the time of Israel. Mm -hmm. And you find that they did what women could not do. 
they did extraordinary things. So whenever I read about this. Uh, two women and another woman also called Sipora. Mm -hmm. I remember Sipora circumcised the son to save the life of of the husband Moses. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, Zipporah could do something that a woman was not supposed to do. And this one, when you read these stories, they put you in a position and they they just tell you that uh, you are able, mm -hmm. you are equally capable to do extra things. Mm -hmm. that other women are not doing. So this, uh, the stories in the Bible mm -hmm. concerning these uh, specific women mm -hmm. who are in any church, na in any church, na in extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Sana. Sana. Every day I feel like, Helen, you need to do something that you have never done. Mm -hmm. Every day of my life. Mm -hmm. I always long to do something that I've never done. You need to. I have to appear somewhere in the books of Chronicles. Somewhere. Eh. Uh-huh. Before I'm a super <laughs> Oh yes. <laughs> yes. Before Jesus comes, uh -huh. I have to do something uh -huh. that my generation will be reading. Come a video to Nasoma Mamboya Deborah uh -huh. in the jail. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. So how can people reach out to you uh, if they want to keep this conversation going? If they want oh, to know wow. about Pastor Helen, if they yes. want to know understand more about work life balance, uh -huh. how can they reach out to you? Uh, you can reach out to me via my my phone number, direct contact, mm -hmm. 0716, 0716, 586-445. I repeat again, 0716, 586-445, Pastor Helen. Or else you can just visit us every Wednesday and every Sunday mm -hmm. at Jesus Victory Center, Kawangware, just opposite Kawangware Primary. Mm -hmm. When you're just there, give me a call, and we will worship God together. Number three, you can reach out to me at Eloita Street, Apsa Plaza, 11th floor. Eloita Street, Apsa Plaza, uh, 11th floor, CBD. All right. Thank you yeah. very much, Pastor yeah. Helen, yeah. for creating time to be with us. Well, thank you. For helping us, uh, you know, dissect in this discussion when it comes to work-life balance. We appreciate sana tena sana. Atamina shukuru sana. But before we wind up. Okay. Yes. Please do. I want to talk to a woman who is watching or please even do. listening please to do, us. Please do. Please do. Please uh, do. Kindly don't throw in towels. You are equally capable to do supernatural things. There is an untapped strength of a woman that the Lord has deposited in your life. It is time that you just take responsibility. Just raise up. Just Si mama tu mahali uko. Then you take up your own life. Kama vile wale the four lepers walifanya. If we sit here, we will die. But if we move, the Lord abrified their steps. So it is your time. Just rise as a woman. You can do extraordinary things. Cheers. As you're doing extraordinary things like you. Yes. What's the new jump that you have? The new song? Because you're also an artist. <laughs> I don't know how we moved on that. <laughs> Oh yes, I also do music. Yes, I uh, got two albums, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, maybe next time. Yes, you next will time come and launch your next. Something. You have yeah. to launch your yes. next song here. And if you feel that uh, you can, you need to reach out to me. Mm -hmm. I have a good stuff to tell you, to give to you for free. Mm -hmm. You will not pay anything for free. Just call me. Just reach out to me, and we shall come back here to celebrate the power What's the of number again? 0716-586-445. Okay. 0716-586-445. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Pastor Helen, for yeah. coming through and having this discussion on work-life balance. We appreciate I'm, you a I'm lot. Good. All right, so that is Pastor Helen Jiro from uh, Jesus Victory Center. And we were looking at uh, most definitely how to balance work and your life because it's important. So it is possible to have a successful pro professional career and a fulfilling career personal life as we have had from this conversation and uh, this is we have come to the end of uh, strength of a woman i hope that you have learned a couple of things and on how to maintain that balance at y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at michelle ashira is where you can find me across all my social um hmm. Kayesu is already in the building <laughs> it's coming through with gas talk so make sure you stay tuned <laughs>